Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a video of half my face using high-end makeup products and half my face using drugstore products. Now to start off, I'm going to start with these Smashbox and Wet n Wild primers. Next thing I'm going to do is just spray my face with the quick fix like I always do. After that, while that dries, I am going to be taking my con my eyeshadow primers. I have a Kat Von D one and a Essence one. You can already tell that the Essence one is way less pigmented than the Kat Von D one is. Next, I'm taking my two foundations. I have a Fenty Beauty and a Wet n Wild one. If you have watched any of my other videos, you know that I do not really like the Wet n Wild foundation. However, I thought it would be kind of appropriate for this video since it, since it is so cheap. Next, I'm taking concealer. I have a Kat Von D one and a Catrice one that I got at Ulta. I'm not putting that much on. I didn't feel the need to use a ton of concealer at that time. Next, I'm taking my loose setting powders. I have a Airs one and a Kat Von D one. I do pack those on pretty heavily just because I do get oily. I also like to powder my smile lines and my forehead. Also here you can tell how white the Kat Von D one is compared to Airspun, which more has more of a tan. Next we're going in with eyeshadow. We have Forever 21 vs. Morphe. Here I've just decided to take light brown shades, working down to darker brown shades on my eyelid. It did actually take me a minute to find a similar swatching eyeshadow in the Morphe palette that was similar to one in the Forever 21 palette. I'm going to take some swatches here. The Forever 21 palette definitely was not as bad as I expected it to be. It was a little bit chalky, but it was definitely a lot more pigmented than I thought it was going to start off as. It also did blend pretty well, so these two shades are from the Forever 21 palette, and I did just want to compare them to some of the ones in the Morphe palette. This is, these two right here are the two shades I had to use on my eyes, simply because there was no reddish tone in the Forever 21 palette. So as you can see here that the Morphe ones are much more creamier and much more pigmented, but they're not that bad. Here I have a Kat Von D and an e.l.f. eyeliner, and then I have um, Sephora mascara and L'Oreal. I did do those off camera. So here for bronzer I have a MAC and a Sephora bronzer. As you can tell here, I didn't really like the MAC bronzer as much as I thought I would. I've never really used it in the past. It's a little bit too light, light for my skin tone, especially here you can tell. Now for highlighters, I have Anastasia vs. Wet n Wild. 
the Wet n Wild is definitely not a bad highlighter, but compared to Anastasia, of course, you can tell which one is way more pigmented. Okay, so final thoughts. You can definitely tell that some things are better than better on this side than they are on this side, but um the eyeshadow you can tell is definitely more pigment pigmented and it, the shade I couldn't find the exact match to this one. So this one's a little bit more red, but you can just tell overall that um this one's more pigmented. Also, I like the e.l.f. Cheap Eyeliner better um, with the Kat Von D. It's a felt tip pen, and I'm not the biggest fan of those. It's, I find it very hard to make a very thin wing. You see how this one's um, more thick. Um, also, the Sephora bronzer was, to me, um, seemed to be a little bit more pigmented. Um, I don't know if I just have the wrong shade in the MAC one or what's going on with that. Um, also, let's see, so um, I'll tell you all the winners. Um, eyeshadow, mascara, eyeliner, bronzer, highlighter, um, also Kat Von D concealer, as well um, also with the foundation. I also forgot to say the Airs Fun Setting Powder is also a winner. And I think that'll do it. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.